<laughs> Welcome to our lecture online. And now we're, our next section, our next segment is going to be on word problems. And we're just going to go with a quick review of word problems. We'll show you one example of each and we'll do a, a various numbers of different types so you can look at it and go, okay, I remember how to do that. So our first one here is going to be relative to setting up the linear equation. We're going to do a, a car rental here. Let's say that Dave rents a car at $60 a day and it costs 28 cents per mile. He rents the car for two days and he pays $182.72. Question is, how far did Dave drive? Well, the way you want to do that is first, you're going to let X represent the unknown, the number of miles driven. So let X equal the number of miles driven. And it really is important that you write that down so that it's clear what X represents. The next thing you want to do is come up with a linear equation that describes the cost of renting that car. And so the cost as a function of x and the number of days uh, is equal to, well, we rent it for two days and at $60 a day so that it would, be, it would be equal to the cost per day times the number of days plus the cost per mile. times the number of miles. So that represents the, the total cost for renting this car. So the cost as a function of x, where x is the number of miles driven, is equal to the cost per day is 60 times the number of days, which is 2. So that's a fixed number. We know what that is. Plus the cost per mile, which is 0 0.28 dollars, times the number of miles, which is x. So there's our equation. It's a linear equation. It's y equals mx plus b. And so this would be our intercept, and that would be the, uh, the, the slope times the variable x. All right, since you know what the cost is, the cost is $182.72. That is equal to 120 plus 0.28x, and now we have to solve that for x. So here we can see that we have decimals. We want to get rid of the decimals first, so we multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of the decimal place. So 100 and times 100. So this becomes 18,272 is equal to 12 with three zeros plus 28x. All right, so now I want to move all the variables with the x to one side and everything else to the other side. So this becomes minus 28x equals 12,000 minus 18,272. All right, that means minus 28x is equal to that would be a minus 6,272. And then we want to divide, divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable. So divide both sides by minus 28. And so we get x is equal to, and let's see if I have a calculator with me. Yes, I do. 6,272 divided by 28 equals, whoa, let me try it again. 6,272 divided by 28 equals, and it's 224. So x equals 224, and of course, that is in miles. So that's how far Dave drove, and that's why his total cost was $182.72. And that's how we do that.